YouTube, it's Pride Phillips. Look at this, we have a sweet new Max Smasher from FMS. You guys have already seen the blue, but now we've got this high roller in pink, which is super, super cool. Grab the squishy tires, just like what you had before. Big high throw suspension, four wheel drive, all the fun stuff that you want in these Max Smashers. And we're gonna give them a quick drive. And if you guys wanna buy one of these, check out the links in the video description below. Stay tuned, we're gonna run them now. Okay, so we're gonna run these things. We'll show you, of course, we've got the low speed and then channel three takes you to the high speed. As you can see, you can flip them over really easy, but just word of warning, they flip easy. And if you don't want them to flip easy, you're gonna have to actually put a little bit of weight in there. And one thing you can use that works really good for weight is of course a rock. So take a rock, throw it in your car. And then if you wanna do some crawling, you can do crawling. These things do really good, but put them in low gear. You'll have a lot easier time controlling them. And I love looking at the tires deflect. Got my son on the blue one and I'm on the pink one here. And I love watching those tires crawl. Now, you'll notice the headlights are on. If you press your bind button, you can turn those off, but it does take a second. So make sure that you press the button and you're patient. Otherwise, it's gonna not turn on, okay? So now you can take some pretty aggressive routes all the way over your wife's plants if you want. <laughs> or you can dump your load and you can try doing some crazy stuff. Now, also, I just wanna warn you too, as you can see, the steering will get you flipped over. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip myself over hand of God style. And then let's go up on this rock. Let's see if I can traverse down. These things have some amazing traction. And so if you like to crawl, then these things are awesome. But I gotta warn you, they are also speedy if you want them to be. And they'll do things like that all day long. So I think without further ado, camera crew and I are gonna film a little short race, if that's okay. Okay. So we'll just come out of this area and let's line up. Are you ready, Andrew? Yep. All right. So without further ado, camera crew is going to call it out. Where are you racing to? Let's just race to here. Oh, okay. okay. So let's see the speed. Let's back up and let's take them right to the edge. Okay. All right. Andrew's in the blue. I'm in the pink. Of okay. course. Three. And you're... Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh no! Oh, so as you can he beat see, you. I was just beat by my eldest child. And these things are super fun. They do get around okay. You don't have to worry about them breaking. They do like to tip empty. And as you can see in taller grass or shorter grass alike, they do all right. But being that they're 124 scale, just keep in mind, you're gonna be limited to a certain extent on how tall the grass can be. In fact, let's go over nature walk style to the hay grass and just show these people that are watching at home. We got a little bit of a bump there. They handle bumps fine. Let's go into this mulch bump here. As you can see, the tires are the first thing to hit. So if you're getting this for a kid, it's actually a great toy. Our youngest child loves to drive these and he and she of the youngest do really well. And so it's no problem getting these things around. He does complain that they flip a little bit easy. So if you have that problem, just put a little extra weight in there. And you can see this tall grass, it's a little bit taller than our chest. So you can actually sort of drive in and get stuck. With the right, with the right persuasion, you might be able to find like a tire track to run into. But as you can see, you are gonna get limitations on these models because this stuff is legit tall. Yeah. This one goes up to my waist, okay? So now I think what I wanna do is I wanna show them up in our normal track and we'll just let these guys see what they need to see. We've got all sorts of fun places we can run cars on our property, but as you know, we try to show you in a real world environment here on Brian Phillips RC because at the end of the day, when you're here watching a video, you're kind of vetting a product that you're interested in buying most of the time. And so for that reason, we like to show them in real world environments, not just, hey, look at that cool crawling scene. Although we, we would like to incorporate some of that. That's not really what we do full time. <clears throat> so as you can see, we've got 
This is kind of our overgrown patch. We've only had a chance to cut this grass a couple of times a season. And so we'll just show you what I'm talking about. We have a path here. And since the grass isn't super thick, you might be able to make it through in low gear. You'll have a little easier time cutting through some of the thick stuff. I just switched to low gear. And the low gear is just as simple as flipping this switch from here, low gear to high gear, okay? So I'm in low gear now and you'll see what's happened is I've high centered because the grass is actually stronger than the weight of the vehicle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my son over. I'll put him over here and he flipped immediately back over, whoops. Hand of God did not work very good that time. But as you can see, if you go in low gear, you get a little better precision of control, but you're not gonna be able to overwhelm tall weeds and stuff. So you might have to use some sheer speed and manpower at times if you run into something tall like that. Oh, so made it back as over. you can see, the tall grass is definitely winning the battle here. But this is what we like to do here on Brian Phillips RC is not just show a product unboxed, but a product in real life. If you wanna have a better experience in this type of environment where you've got grass that's gonna be knee high or waist high, you're gonna to have to be in a 10th scale and you're gonna to have to be heavy because otherwise you'll never get traction in that environment. And no matter how amazing the product is, you're not gonna be able to drive around. You're just gonna end up flipping upside down like what's happened here. So these products are amazing. They're very fun, but they definitely have their limitations. And we think we've showed them clearly here tonight on this short video. But yep, we've got the High Roller 2 here, which looks absolutely fantastic from FMS. Beautiful undercarriage, four-wheel drive. As you can see, got everything, U-joints, all the stuff you expect. Big, strong servo with mechanical um, overload protection. And then of course, squishy tires, which we've come to expect. And if you guys like what we bring here on Brian Phillips RC, in the longer format versus the short format that you get everywhere else, then smash that like button on the way out and definitely think about buying one of these from the links in the video description below if you decide to buy one. Now, if you hate this item and you think, hey, you know, I want something bigger, I want something that's more like 110 scale or 112 scale or 116th or whatever it is, we have tons of that stuff right on brianphillipsrc.com. And so what I want you to do is I want you to check brianphillipsrc.com and we have in that domain, all these items organized by type, by brand, manufacturer, and different things like that. And that's so that you don't have to sort through the something like 1800 videos that we've produced over the years, Megan and I and the family. And so it's very helpful if you check that out. Now also we have links down in the video description below. So if you're watching on a smart TV right now and you're like, we wanna help support you, but I'm watching on my TV, I don't have any way to click your link. Just go back to your YouTube history, click on your own picture, which is gonna be on your channel when you're on it, when you log on to YouTube, and then you can go back to your history and just look at the video you're watching right there. It's right there ready for you. And so that's how you support us the best way. Or we have YouTube uh, members, we have Super Thanks, and then of course we have Patreon and PayPal. But really, we still think by far the best way that you can support us in our efforts here on, on Brian Phillips RC is to just basically buy these things when you do like them. And if you don't like this thing, we're not trying to tell you to buy this particular one, but we do want you to know that they have a new livery out and it's pretty cool. So I always love it when they come out with new liveries. And definitely I can say this, we've got a different affiliate, we got a few different affiliates we work with that end up marketing this brand. And we have found the FMS cars to be really good. They're solid, they break, but only when you do stupid things like let your six-year-old drive, you know, your $550 car. Yeah. So when you do that, plan on fixing them. And you can follow our links to get your spare parts. But that being said, that's the coolest part of it is when you buy stuff from FMS, in terms of cars, in terms of quality, in terms of build, in terms of consistency, you're gonna tend to get the most consistency and you're gonna get a good quality build. You got a good baseline at least. Now, if you don't like this particular pink one, obviously you've got the Max Smasher back here that's more like the Bigfoot you've seen in the past. Not that it's actually a Bigfoot. It's just a Smasher. Just a Smasher. Remember guys, there are brand things to consider. And look at those lights, so much fun guys. Really, really cool stuff here on Brian Phillips RC. And if you guys are longing for more aircraft, don't worry, you're not alone. I also like airplanes. 
and we have tons of content coming. So this is just a special for a Surface Wednesday on Brian Phillips RC, and we hope you guys enjoyed this little special, and we appreciate you guys being part of our everyday success here on YouTube. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll do our best to get back to you. And if you guys wanna help support us, like I said, the best thing you can do is smash that like button right now before you move on to the next video. And if you're looking for something else amazing to watch, what about one of the recommendations that just came up that says Brian Phillips RC? We'll love it. We'll see you on the next video. And guys, we have literally so much content, we can't squeeze it in. So we hope we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.